2010 MacBook Pro Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card replacement. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. The back cover is attached with 10 Phillips head screws. Start with the 7 short screws first, starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Next, the 3 long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. Before we go any further, please note that the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth cards are located inside the LCD assembly. LCD assembly removal. Begin by disconnecting the Wi-Fi and the speaker cables. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are connecting the speaker to the MacBook. You can now move the speaker out of the way. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are connecting the Wi-Fi bracket. Detach the Wi-Fi cable screw. You'll need to place this onto a replacement unit. Disconnect the LVDS cable. Remove the two Phillips LVDS bracket screws. Now remove the bracket. You can now lift up and turn over the MacBook. Open it and hang it over the table ledge. This will make it very easy to remove the unit once the hinge has been removed. Remove the six T6 screws, three on each hinge. You can now lift up the LCD assembly. Begin by sliding the antenna cover from left to right and then gently prying it up on the left side. Your airport card is located right here. Remove one Phillips head screw from the Wi-Fi cable guard. Now gently lift up and remove the Wi-Fi cable guard. You can now disconnect the Wi-Fi card from the Wi-Fi cable. There are two Phillips head screws that are holding down the Wi-Fi card. Unscrew the right screw, then gently disconnect the antenna cables, and now you can unscrew the left side screw. The airport card is now free and you can gently remove it. Place your new airport card in the following orientation. Go ahead and attach the right side Phillips head screw. Now you can go ahead and attach the left side Phillips head screw. Reattach the main Wi-Fi cable to the back of the card. Gently prying it in with a screwdriver if you have to. Now you can go ahead and click in the antennas. Reattach the Wi-Fi card main cable security clip.
reattach the antenna cover, positioning it about a quarter of an inch to the right of its original position. Tuck in any cables that are sticking out, firmly press down on the clip, and shift it over to the left. LCD assembly reinstallation. Pick up your new LCD and insert it into the MacBook. Secure each hinge with the middle screw. This will allow you to align the LCD assembly correctly. Now you can install the other four T6 screws, two more on each hinge. Lift, close and turn over the MacBook. Reinstall the Wi-Fi cable bracket with two Phillips head screws. Make sure to loop the screw through the Wi-Fi cable. Place the speaker into its position. You can go ahead and reconnect the speaker to the logic board as well as the Wi-Fi cable. Secure the speaker with two Phillips head screws, one on each side. Reinstall the LVDS bracket with two Phillips head screws. Make sure the bracket goes over the LVDS cable. Now reconnect the LVDS cable. Be gentle, this cable is fragile. That connection can be damaged. Make sure to lock it in and you're done. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on and secure it with 10 Phillips head screws, 7 short screws first starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the 3 long Phillips head screws in the top. Perform a NVRAM reset after this procedure. This will reset the resolution and screen brightness.